Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday the 4th of September. Starting off with Alba Minerals, where we've been following the uh, move uh, higher over the last uh, month or so. Uh, the in initial target here was the top of that rising trend channel from March at uh, 0.17. Uh, obviously, we hit that uh, end of last month and came back a bit, but uh, remained... Uh, well, old resistance became new support. Uh, the old August resistance became new support and we're back up again. End of day close today above 0.17 should be enough to take the shares up for a new leg uh, to the uh, upside up towards uh, the November, top of that November trend channel, uh, perhaps as high as 0.3 pence. If you're a bit squeamish about the shares, maybe wait for 0.19 to be broken uh, on an end of day, day or weekly close basis. But uh, Looks as though 0.17 uh, should be enough, and uh, at least while we're above the June uh, resistance of 0.15, uh, the bull argument remains uh, very much intact. Uh, next up, a stock which I can see that uh, people on uh, social media are quite pleased about. Uh, slow move up here, which is uh, perhaps uh, um, more suited to some. Uh, so a gentle uh, sort of slow burn move to the upside. Got a rising trend channel uh, on the daily chart from April. The top of the channel currently pointing at nine pence, and the floor of the channel around uh, five and a half. So above five and a half, looking for nine. Uh, if you're a big fan of the shares, uh, up to that uh, September resistance line projection of ten pence could be the destination, perhaps uh, by the end of uh, next month. But everything uh, they're hinging on five and a half pence. Holding um, stock where there's been uh, looks like there's been a bit of a, a bear trap and a bear trap rebound. In fact, is uh, Besant here. Here we had uh, what's sort of two, three days, or at least a couple of days uh, below the post May support. Uh, so that call that uh, around 0.09, uh, and uh, then we've sort of flipped back again now. Uh, an end of day close back above the 50 day line at 0.11 should be enough to uh, give confidence that we're back in a recovery uh, tack. Uh, the top of the channel there from March up to 0.2 pence. And uh, at the moment, uh, obviously, while we remain above 0 0.09, looking for that 0.2 pence uh, target on Besant. Uh, stock which I uh, can't remember if I've covered uh, or not, but it looked uh, rather appealing. I think it has very uh, few shares and issues. That was a, an appealing part of it. But uh, Blue Rock Diamonds, uh, the... Uh, the uh, falling wedge break came around 40 pence in the middle of last month, and we've obviously put on uh, a decent amount since then. A uh, big figure target is up to the top of that broadening triangle from uh, March at uh, 100 pence, so that's uh, hopefully a one to two month target. And uh, the upside really valid, I suppose, while we hold above the uh, 50 day moving average currently at 43 pence, uh, and that would probably be the best uh, stop loss, a trading stop loss on the long argument if you are trying to chase the 100 pence uh, level. Uh, Barron Oil, uh, not an easy stock to chart uh, all over the place. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this little spike that we, on the chart that's shown there today, but uh, basically we've got a rising trend channel again, once again from March. Most uh, rising trend channels are from March uh, for obvious reasons. So above 0 0.09, looking for the top of the channel as high as 0.18 for Barron Oil, but obviously the uh, the trajectory uh, on such a spiky stock uh, is going to be problematic. Uh, a nice eventuality today would be an end of day close through the uh, August intraday resistance at 0.115, uh, which is obviously near to where we are at the moment. I uh, saw somebody asking about um, uh, live uh, uh, live company. I'll get the name out uh, here. It does look interesting, actually. Uh, Obviously, it's been a rather a torrid run over recent months and perhaps even years. But uh, looks like we've finally broken out of this uh, triangle from June, uh, bounced on the uh, extended bounce on the 50-day moving average at 9.5 pence. And while we're above the 50-day uh, line, looking for a top of April trend channel as high as 24 pence over the next, uh, let's say, four weeks, something like that. Uh, clearly, an end of the day close today, above 12 and three quarters, uh, the August uh, peak would be useful to the cause, but uh, really it was the break of that resistance line from June at 11 pence, which uh, has done the job. And uh, while we remain above 11, we'd be looking for an acceleration to the upside for live company. 
uh, not in alphabetical order for some reason. Uh, we've got um, Iconic uh, Labs. Uh, here it's just worth noting the way that uh, although we had the false break last month, uh, we've maintained support at this uh, gently falling uh, line from uh, April. That runs through about, I suppose, around the point uh, uh, zero 0.09 uh, area. Um, point uh, zero zero 0.009, I think. Uh, but uh, basically above point zero 0.01 uh, and, that, and uh, the recent support, looking for further gains. Uh, initial target, obviously, the August peak at point zero 0.025. Uh, but the big target here, if this is finally the end of the consolidation, uh, would be a move to point zero 0.05. Uh, apologies for the uh, uh, getting tied up with the, all the numbers there. Uh, rather more um, uh, simple is uh, Codal Minerals, which is... Uh, just a great breakout situation. Uh, we had the gap through the 50-day moving average, which is uh, regular watches of the bulletin board here, as we'll know, is one of the uh, uh, one of the setups that tends to work rather well. So we had that um, for the 1st of September, and uh, obviously the week since uh, has seen the shares soar. Uh, the initial target here uh, is 0.2 uh, pence, uh, while we hold above the old 0.11 uh, pence peak from June. Uh, if you're a fan of the stock and uh, want to dream of the stars, well, uh, the target here is high as that July resistance line projection at 0 0.3 uh, pence. But initially, 0 0.2, uh, best case scenario, let's say by the end of next month, up to 0 0.3, and the stop loss back at uh, 0.11 uh, on uh, Codal. Don't normally look at uh, retailers, especially retailers which haven't been doing uh, very well because obviously uh, bad things can happen but uh, just interesting that mother care has been in this uh, little flag formation consolidation formation uh, either side of the 200 day moving average at 9.91 pence you can get an end of day close or end of week close today above uh, that particular feature one would be looking for further gains up towards the top of that march trend channel currently pointing at 15 pence this stage, only really back below the two-day consolidation, two-day uh, floor at eight pence, really uh, kills the upside scenario uh, for Mother Care stock, which I haven't covered very much, but is uh, here today is um, uh, Reach. Uh, here we've got a gap through the thirty-day moving average, uh, breaking that falling wedge as well, which is uh, a nice thing to do. And uh, really, while we're above the twenty-day line at fifty-four pence, looking for further gains. Uh, clearly, there's uh, resistance between 80 and 90 pence, which is uh, June, July resistance, and that would be the initial target. While we hold above the 20-day line, best case target here up to the uh, top of that broadening triangle uh, from April, as high as one pound 20 on a, a I suppose a one to two month uh, time frame. But uh, this uh, uh, falling wedge break does look very encouraging indeed, especially if it's got a bullish divergence in the RSI window accompanying it just a couple of stocks to go both uh, ones which are much talked about at the moment first is uh, valorix uh, where we've had a uh, uh, beautiful move here to the upside um, and the i suppose the feature and the reason for the inclusion today is the way they were holding above so far holding above the uh, old may 23 pence peak if we can continue to do that uh, then the target here could be towards 31 32 maybe even 33 pence at the top of that rising trend channel from July. So above 23 up to perhaps up to um, as much as 33 pence over the next week or two. Finishing off with uh, Vela, which uh, I'm glad I covered uh, a few days ago because it was uh, we're looking rather sickly and uh, possibly a brave thing to do at that time. But we had that, uh, uh, like in the case of uh, Besant, we had that sort of probing below a, a previous support and uh, the shares. Uh, uh, push back higher which is uh, encouraging probably want to see uh, an end of day close through 0 0.06 back above that uh, broken uh, support line if we can get that uh, then the eventual target here could be a return to the uh, post january resistance at 0.1 pence so at the moment at least while we're above 0 0.05 looking for a uh, best case scenario target over the next couple of months as high as 0.1 pence for Vela after the bear trap. That's it for me today. More updates uh, on Monday.